In this video, we are going to see about the array of structure. So what is an array of structure? A group of structure can be organized in an array, resulting in an array of structure. Each element in the array is a structure. Say for example, this is a structure. So struct, you define the structure with the struct keyword, then the name of, you will give a name for the structure. Then here, this is all these are the member variables of the structure. Now, struct student S1 of 10. When you define like this, this becomes this this becomes an array of structure. So you can each S1 of 5. See here how you can access the uh, members inside the uh, structure. So S1 of 0 will be one structure, which is of the this type. S1 of 0, 1 will be another one, and so on. Say, for example, here. S1 of 0 is 1 array. Okay. And it is a structure which is of type this. Then S1 of 1. This is another structure, another uh, structure which is of this type. Then again S1 of 2. So this element will be another structure. How you can access? Once you define, so each S1 of 0, it is similar to you are declaring 10 different variables S1, S2, S3, etc. Instead, S1, S2, S3, etc., we, we have the same name followed by the index. Okay, so you, how you can access the numbers is S1 of 0 dot roll number. You should not enter here 0. Okay, the index should come here. The index is only for the name of the structure not for this variable so s1 of 0 rule number s1 of 0 name then how you can access the structure within structure for this array of structure so here same way s1 of 0 then dob dot a s1 of 0 the same way you have to access then the next element in the next index how you can access s1 of 1 rule number so this is one uh, data this is another record Okay, like this. Now we'll see this with an example. So this is an example. Again, date is defined here. Then student, here we have defined the day uh, within structure, we have defined another structure, which is of type date. Okay, we have given the member variable name as DOB. For this, it is a structure variable. When it is defined within another structure, it becomes a member variable. Now so here we have defined some uh, local variable for a loop because uh, if we get only a single uh, structure member variable, uh, then there is no need for a loop. But since we are going to uh, get the how many number of students, so we can get more number of students. If you define array, you can get uh, more num that is uh, you can get more number of data for this same structure. So here S1 of 10, we have defined an array of structure. So in S1 of 0, you can store one student data. In S1 of 1, you can store another set of students data. So another, another student data. So first you have to get the how many number of students. So that how many data we are going to enter for that. The maximum value is defined. Now we will get the scan up. Using scan up, we get the number of students which you are going to enter data for this uh, as a record. Now i equal to zero so we have yes we have started a loop where till from zero to less than n so since it is starting from zero here we have given less than n okay so if it is two means zero to less than two means zero comma one two elements okay so roll number see here how we are getting data s1 of i so this i is the index so when it first runs this i will be substituted as zero 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 so S1 of i we get, then it gets incremented by this i plus plus. Now i becomes one and we get all these values. So when i become two, here we have given only less than n, that is less than two. Imagine we are getting n value equal to two. So when it becomes less than n only till it works. When it is equal to n itself, it breaks. Okay, it comes out. See how we are getting the value of data uh, that is for the date values. Another structure within the structure. So nested structures. Then details we are printing the data. So for i equal to again, since we have uh, we have received two or three or more than that, or maybe till ten. 
because 10, 10 is a maximum value here we have declared so you cannot get more than this 10 if you want more than 10 then you have to increase this value index right so here i less than i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus we keep printing the values the same way how you have access the same way here we will print the value now i just execute this value execute this program and i'll show you we first it get the number of students let me say some three students data i want to enter so first rule number 100 name date of birth okay then branch name so let's see student marks the day 100 now it has get all the values for one student now since three students i have given the loop will execute for three times so now again it will get the another rule number say let me say one of one date of birth Now it is getting another roll number, waiting for another roll number. See here, I have received, first we have received, uh, give, uh, enter the input as a three student record we are getting. So it gets three input, rule number, name, etc. Again, again, another rule number, then again here, another rule number. Now we are printing the details. See here, details of the students, first students, second student, and the third student. So that is what we have done in another for loop. 